Hey everybody, hi, how are you doing? Happy Sunday, happy weekend. How are you? Hey Michelle, how are you doing today? Hope you had a great weekend. Well, halfway weekend, I mean, you're on Sunday midday, right? Yeah, how are you doing? We just had dinner. We had hot dogs. Hey, Leanne, sweet. How are you doing? Hi, Dawn. How are you guys doing? I hope you feel better today, Dawn. I saw you didn't feel too well yesterday when um, Angie had her live. I was a tad bit busy yesterday because I had to do all the, the links and whatnot. It was like, whew, a lot of things to do here. <laughs> but I was okay. It was okay. How are you guys doing? I'm just knitting away here. You're feeling better, Dawn? I'm happy to hear it. I'm happy to hear it. It's no good being sick. So, yeah. So, what have you been up to this weekend? Hey, Alana, how are you doing? Yes, David cut my hair yesterday. He took like two inches off of it. He came home and I was like, can you maybe cut my hair? And he was like, um, it's like, it's just straight cut over. It's like, okay. <laughs> so yeah. It's about two inches shorter. I did the thing, you know, where you make a ponytail up in on your forehead and then you cut it, but that just makes the layers. And I was like, the bottom of it really needed. You're doing the Jeremiah Ketner one? Ah, I can't wait to see it, Leanne. I have it in my stash, but... How are you doing, Michelle? I hope you feel better by now. But yeah. Haircut. At least so far, this is the length of it. You never know. You never know. I might end up cutting more of it off. I did last weekend. I cut some of it off as well. So, you know, if I do that every weekend. Yeah, the colors remind you of Easter. I had kind of hoped that it would be the other one that they, they guessed it would be. But this is okay, too. I just like the colors of the other one better. But it's okay. You're doing okay, Michelle? You guess? Have your neighbor moved yet? Yeah. Don't you just love... Can you see these? No. Darn it. Mm. Maybe. It has this dark, dark brown and beige and then the light blue and the dark blue it's so pretty right thank you don i will tell him he was like getting me over there and um got a scissor and then he was sitting down because he's so much taller than me and he was like i can see him like <laughs> david can have a side job Hey, Anna, how are you doing? It's been a while. Yeah, he can have a side hustle as, as my private hair cutter. I'm waiting for your new neighbors, Michelle. Well, I'm sure they're going to be nice. What I'm knitting, I'm knitting cloths. This cloth, like this one. I finished this one yesterday. We're going to... In, in April, we're going to have... This, uh, what do you call it, community kind of a big garden sale, whatever. People are having these, these little booths in their own gardens or garages. And then we can sell all sorts of things. You're doing fine, Anna. I'm glad to hear it. But yeah. <laughs> your father, grandfather and youngest stuck out their tongue like that at the end. Well, we both do that, I guess. Like whenever we need to to concentrate, it's like, oh, 
<laughs> I don't know. It's kind of, it's just stuck. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, I was wondering what to do with it, and there you have it. I mean, I threw out all the other ones that I used to have hanging there. I wanted to just take them down, but as soon as I started, you know, rolling them, I had drills popping, and I just threw them out. It was all the AliExpress ones. Meant meh. I just threw out all the the drills from all of my AliExpress kits. I had almost 1.4 kilos of drills from those kits. I was like, damn, that is a lot of drills. But yeah, I'm happy with him over there. He looks a little blurry, but he's not. And I love all the specialty drills and whatnot. Yeah. And now I am getting ready to kit up my next diamond painting. I mean, it's, I finished him on the 12th. And since then, I've been, you know, knitting or trying to get my my craft room in order. Right, Don? He, he's looking good over there. My little Merlin. I'm kind of sad I was... In, in DAC trying to get the wizard spell and it sold out but I did write myself you know please tell me when he's back in stock so hopefully hopefully he'll be back before January for the next paint along that we're gonna do but next time it's just gonna be magic no wizards is the theme for next year so if you have any wizardy diamond paintings like Harry Potter or Miles Pinkney. Why do I want to be over there? Miles Pinkney or something like that. You have a kit for next year. It's going to be fun. But right. I mean, it's still a while out. Thank you. Yeah. January is a while out. I mean, we barely have April yet. What I'm going to work on next, Threats of the Universe. I did have a poll on my community page. And uh, that's the one that most people voted on. So I unboxed that Friday. And um, I'm going to kit it up. I'm thinking of doing, you know, kitting it up as a time lapse and then, I mean, later kit it up when, when my live is over and then put the time lapse up Monday or something like that. You love that painting, Dawn? Yeah, I can't wait to do it. I mean, the colors are, I love the colors, even though there is a lot of co uh, color blocking in that one. And I mean, when you've just done the astronomer, color blogging is like, eh, I would much rather have a bunch of, of confetti again, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, it's the, do you see the woman up there? It's the Scott Halden, the, the lady who has yarn in her hair and she's knitting and the planets around her. Uh, looks knitted. She's beautiful. At least I think so. Yeah. So that's the one. It's a little itty bitty one compared to some of the other ones that I have in my stash. It's a 50, uh, 50, 50. 56, 50, I can't remember. It's a 60 by barely 80, so it's a tiny one. Well, maybe you would call it a medium. I don't know. I think a medium. People call it large, but in my world, it's a medium because I do have a bunch of very big kits. But yeah. So, I guess, yeah. A lot of people are like, I don't like large kits, which is, 
I mean, 60 by 80 is plenty large for me. And I go, but that is okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I like those big ones. Yeah. Oh my God, which one? Is it a movie or is it a song? Like, I like big, big boop and I'm not a proud to admit it. Something like that. I'm not too proud to admit it. Something like that. That one just went into my mind over here. Sorry. It is, and I love the colors. That one is spring as well, if you're into all the pastels. So, yeah. I still just wish it had been a little bigger. Dawn is sending me a picture. Oh, other way around. <laughs> um... Ooh, you come far on that one. Hang on, we're going to find it so that people can see. Uh, ooh, he's done another knitting one. We have to get... Look at this one. I have to show you. Sorry, I will show yours in a second, Don. I just have to show you. We have to get Diamond Art Club to release this one. Look, it's beautiful. I want that one. Oh my God, I, I have to have that one eventually. Hey, Francesca, how are you doing? I mean, I have to have that one. Please, DAC, right, Anna? I have to have that one. I have to send that one to Diamond Art Club. I need it in my life. I mean, yes, it is wet, Leanne. <laughs> yeah, that one I need in my life. Okay, back to Dawn. Back to Dawn. Hey, Anthony. Um, where did, where did my messages go? There. And Dawn. And there. And go back. Mm. Alana, I had a hard time choosing between the four you had to pick from. Hopefully, this is the one you like the most. See, Alana, the issue was I liked all of them. I had a hard time choosing myself, which is why I was like, choose, help me. How are you doing, Anthony? I'm going to show this one. There you go. This is... How far done is on her diamond painting. I love the flowers. They're beautiful. I have no idea what the name is in English, but I know what they're called in, in Danish. It's kind of like directly translated, and I know that this isn't the name you call them, but it's kind of like farmer's roses. I don't know what they're called in English. But yeah, they're beautiful, they're beautiful. Do you know what they're called, Don? Maybe I should ask Google. What are they called? Oh, Google. There you go. Peasant roses. Okay. Well, then farmer's roses sound more beautiful. Peasant. Peasant isn't... Slightly negative word, isn't it? A peasant. Holly hooks. Google is lying. Stop. See, the, the holly hooks is here, and then peony, but that isn't a peony. Holly hooks. Okay. Well, then, that is more beautiful than peasant roses. Google sometimes, your people. How's Apollo, Anthony? And I still need to see your live from Friday. 
I thought it would be on both your channels. But yeah. Coffee. And being so good about my glasses, I remember to wear them all the time. Oh dear. I wonder if Andy will be here today. She said she would. But maybe she's sleeping in. Who knows? Who knows? She did tell me yesterday, I don't have any plans tomorrow, so I will be in your live. She was live for three and a half hours yesterday. Yeah. So I just decided I'm not going to feel bad about mine being two and, two and a half hours long. I mean, she was there for three and a half hours. <laughs> He's doing fantastic. I'm just getting lunch, and then we're going to Littleton. Wow, that's that's beautiful. So I was laughing a little at your last vlog. Like, I'm going to comment. I'm going to answer to all your comments. And you did, what, five or six? <laughs> wow. Wow. I was like, where is all my answers? I know I answered at least some of your videos this time. <laughs> but yeah, tangents, I know. Uh, Leanne, you ordered your first tray from Angie to the J Wall. Did you did you buy one of the uh, fairies? The beautiful. Did you see the all flower one that she kind of unboxed yesterday? So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, yeah, it was just the flowers and really, really beautiful. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm expecting a package from her. Oh, the old flower one you did that one? It's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I mean, I still like the fairies and the mermaids and whatnot, but this one with just the flowers was amazing. And then the alcohol ink in the background. <clears throat> Oh, right, you're doing Secret Garden. Right, right. So have you looked at it yet? Or haven't you gotten it yet? I mean, yeah. It's going to be something doing it in, in black and white. But Secret Garden is beautiful. You got Voyager? Yay! I'm happy for you, Anthony. I just told, before you came in, I was like, I was looking to get um, the wizard spell, but it sold out. So I have to wait for a restock. But I did sign up to get notified. <clears throat> you got a D-stash? Whew, Leanne. Well, hopefully you don't have issues with the... With the 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 the, see the the um the dark brown one, thirty three seventy one is that it? See, I I know which color it is, but I just keep forgetting the DMC thirty three seventy one, right? But I thought you had already ordered it, Leanne, from the one with the diamond art. But good, you got a D stash. I wonder if Diamond Painting Deutschland has it. I don't think so. Even though, I don't know. Maybe it'd be kind of fun to do it with a max color. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You're sure any issues will be as bad as 239 colors? And imagine... I wanted to buy both the Virgo and the Taurus from Diamond Painting Deutschland. That was before the Stan and Nebel. Um, I was like, I can do this and all the colors. <laughs> well, well, yeah, who knows? I might have been able to. I mean, I might still be able to. I'm just, if I don't need it. If I don't need it. 
oh, I really do like a grand, do look like a grandma today, right? I'm sitting here in my comfy sweater. I have my knitting, have my coffee and my glasses and whatnot. So I'm an old grandma today. Oh, you did buy it. Okay. So you have two now. You can do a comparison. I just looked at myself. I'm like, oh, look at grandma over here. But yeah, <laughs> I'd be a very young grandma. You know, Francesca, one of the girls that I went to school with, she's about six months older than me. She had her youngest about the same time she became a, gra a maternal grandmother for the first time. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of women who became grandmas about 40 depending on how early they have their their oldest one. And the one I went to school with, she had her oldest shortly before she turned 18. And then her daughter was about 20, I think. You were 41, Leanne? Yeah, see. I mean, I'm 44, so. And I mean, my sister has been calling me grandma since I began knitting, which was 12 years ago. So yeah, I'm still contemplating my knitting video. Yeah. I think my my classmate, she was just about 40, maybe 39, I can't remember. But yeah. I mean, when you have your first kid at, at 18, and then your kid has her first about 19, then you're young. That my my classmate then decided to get a litter number two, as I call it. So she had all her first group of kids grown up. They were, I think most of them were just about 18, maybe 16, the, the, the youngest of those. Then she got a new, I don't know if they're married or if it's just a boyfriend. And they were like, oh, so you want kids? Well, okay, let's have more kids. So now she has five. She had three back then and now two more boys. So five kids. That is a lot of kids. But yeah. So I'm kind of like, okay, you got the kids that I never got. So that's okay. So David was with some of his biking friends they were at this it isn't a race but more like a run where they were biking was it 66 or 68 kilometers i have no idea how many miles that is um and then they were all driving in one car um one of his co-workers who has an electric car and david was like it's kind of um weird when you'll be sitting in a car on the highway and it about 44 miles okay well that is how far they they rode their bikes yesterday so they were on the highway and it was like you can't hear anything you can't hear an engine you can't hear the wind outside you can't anything so then there were you know he this his co-worker was like he had friends come up to him and be like why did you buy this expensive car? Because it's in, in because we do have a lot of taxes and, and stuff like this. In Denmark, he I'm pretty sure that car was just around um one hundred thousand dollars. It's about seven hundred thousand Danish kroners. So he at that time pretty sure he loaned those money, but then he also got a a bike that was around 50,000 Danish kroners. So he was like, so why why would you want to spend that much money on, on a car or on a bike? And, you know, the co-worker had said, well, because I can. Yeah, yeah that is because of all the taxes. Um, yeah, yeah. So it was like, Kind of like when David and I bought this house. I mean, 
People were like, you're two people and X amount of cats. Why do you need such a big house? Which it isn't big, big. It's a, a, a you know, normal house. But then again, I mean, we, we had a townhouse before. And, I mean, if we didn't have hobbies, the both of us, that took up space and stuff like that, it would have been fine. But we, we outgrew our townhouse, our little townhouse. And people asked us, you know, why why buy this house? And, and again, like, because we can't, because we have the means, because we have the possibility. I mean, we even looked at a house that was even bigger than this one. We have three bedrooms, one bathroom. Um, we looked at it before. We have... The house itself is 140 uh, square feet. How many? Um, that square feet, that is the one you use. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's 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 around fifteen hundred square feet. And then we have the sunroom. David has his his workshop, and then we have a garage. I mean, so it's a good sized house for two people. I'm very much aware of that. But I mean, David has his office. I have this. We have a bedroom. We have a big living room, um, which. If we're going to have 25 people here as guests, we, we do need a, a big living room. But anyway, people are like, why would you need that? And we were like, because we can. So then again, we were talking about yesterday, you know, just because he, we were, he told me about that. And I was like, well, it isn't any different than with, with his bikes and, and my hobbies and like my, my knitting and my diamond painting and stuff like that. It is a nice size. Yeah. Um, so it's like, like, like I told him, you know, I was, when we moved my diamond paintings in the bedroom, which is on the other side of that wall over there, I, I looked at them and I was like, you know what? I was thinking the the price of those, you know, the average price of these are around... 80, 85 dollars, and there's about 50. So, you know, it is a lot of money, but it's money that I've had. You know, I none of us are buying stuff if we don't have the money for it. Um, it's the same like when David bought his last bike, and people were like, That is a lot of money. I'm like, Yes, but we didn't have to loan the money, we had the money on the account. So, I mean. It's so weird that people are like, well, why do you do that? I'm, I'm like, hey, Andy, how are you doing, sweetie? Nice to see you. And it's kind of, it, David and I have been talking about this. My mom, for instance, she's one of those persons that, you know, you can't spend money. You know, it's like everything has to be as cheap, cheap, cheap as possible. Kind of like, you know, she has to make sure that there is something to inherit, I think. I don't know. But everything is cheap, and she has, yeah, well, she has a lot of money. Let's say it like that. And she's liking, she likes to tell us, um, well, when I'm dying, you're getting this and this amount. And David and I have told her again and again, you know what? Travel, spend your money, buy something, you know? I mean, both of us is like, okay. If we have any money left other than what's needed for the service, that has been an error. I mean, we made a grave error if there's nothing left. Ah, uh, Leanne, I don't know why people concern themselves with how other people spend save money. You're right. I think some of it is about jealousy. 
You're good. You're working on your thing. It's such good, ain't you? Francesca agrees with Leanne. Those people should worry about themselves. Absolutely. But, you know, people like to gossip. Yeah, you were thinking the same, Don? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think it's kind of funny when people ask if I have my own yarn store, and I'm like, yes, mine. And people did that even before I started diamond painting. But we were also talking about, you know, how you... Um, I threw out all the old diamond paintings I had, the ones that was hanging over there before. And I was like, I, I told David, you know, back then when I had them, when I bought them, I felt that they were, they looked good and I liked the quality of them. But then Diamond Art Club and some of the other small shops, hey, how are you doing, sweetie? It's been a while since you've been in here. I've missed you. Um, so it's like, yeah, you know, the, the quality is quite different. And um, he was like, yeah, well, it's the same with when he bought his first bike, racing bike. It was like, you get something and you find um, that the quality is fine. And then you get more into the hobby and... All of a sudden, you're like, okay, I thought this was Sheila. Yes, how are you doing, Sheila? And I missed you. It's been a while. Um, so you start to, to get more expensive things. Kind of like I said, you begin with this thin little plastic pen that everybody gets in the kits, you know? And then you find out, oh, there's this thing called a squishy. And you put that one on, it's like, oh, this helps so much, you know? And um, then I bought my first, no, that's not true. Then after that pen, I got, I got, I got this one, you know, this acrylic from AliExpress. And I was like, oh, this is an amazing pen. And this is all I'm ever going to need, you know? And then it was like, people start telling me about your people at tours. And it's like, oh, that looks funny. And um, I was, where is it? I got this one, you know, because it smells like cinnamon. But if you know me today, this is actually um, too, too thick. Oh no, Sheila. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, I'm sorry, Sheila. How are you holding up? Thank you. Yeah, your husband was the same with his road bikes. That's how it is. But, I mean, I didn't know better back then, so it's like, oh, this is a cool, cool pen. Yeah. You're doing okay, but it's still sad. Don't you miss him? Yeah, taking it day by day. Yeah, that's all you can do. I'm sorry. So, yeah, this was my first um, custom pen. Then I got... This one, also from Simply Board Tours. And as you can see, there's quite the difference in in the width of it. And so I was like, oh. And it smells like coffee. But then I was like, oh, so this, this one is thinner. And this one fits much better in my hand. So, yeah. I don't really use this a whole lot anymore because it's kind of, I can use it. No issues at all. It's just my my hands and my fingers get tired unless I want to stab it like a knife, you know. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I remember you talked about your son. Now you lost him too. It is rough. I know that. Um, yeah. 
I don't know how much you've been around, but we lost my mother-in-law in on August, oh no, August 1st last year. So yeah, it's rough losing somebody. I can't imagine losing my husband. I mean, life just began somehow, right? It is rough losing somebody you love. But yeah, one day at a time, and it's never going to be easy, and you're never going to forget them, but one day you'll find out that you can smile again, and Thirty years. Wow. Then it has to be even more hard. I mean, yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Yeah, when my mother-in-law, we lost my, actually today, it's nine years ago that my father-in-law died losing his battle to cancer. Um, it would be his birthday tomorrow. He would be 81. Um, but when, when he died, it was tough on my mother-in-law because they were cousins. So they've known each other their entire lives. I mean, that was more than, than 70 years at that time. Oh, you were married and then divorced? Oh, well, that sucks, Sheila, that sucks. Two thousand and two. That is a long time ago by now. Isn't it weird? Seeing the 2002, that's just a second ago, you know. That's not that long ago, but it's actually 22 years ago. It's so weird. I mean, yeah. Sometimes you just sit down and go like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, how can it be 22 years ago? It's 24 years ago by now that everybody was so worried about the Y2K. <laughs> you graduated high school in 2002, Michelle? Well, I never finished high school. No. I, I quit. Well, it was, it was, I was kind of thrown out because I had too much time where I wasn't there because of my bag and my doctor wouldn't give me a doctor's note that I couldn't do the PT because of this. Um, so so I ended up getting booted and then I moved to Germany. <laughs> but yeah. But I would have graduated in in 2000. 99? I would have graduated in 99. Yeah. Hm. Again, it's weird. That is 25 years ago. So I would have graduated the summer I came home from Germany. Angie was actually the one who, who saw my new haircut first yesterday. We were chatting a little bit after her live while she was doing stuff. So yeah, that was, that was an interesting live, but next time I want other much to be there. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It wasn't that busy. But have you seen, Angie, you're almost at a thousand views by now? I want my life to go viral like that. How come my video never ends up with a thousand views or something? <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's fine. But it would be kind of fun, you know. 
How many new she told me you told me yesterday? Was it 25 new subscribers you got, Angie? That's crazy. But you know what? You deserve it. Every single one of them. But yeah. Pretty, pretty funny. And the last, I don't know what, hour and a half, people were just hanging out. We didn't say a whole lot. We were just hanging out, you know. Diamond painting. I was knitting. I won yarn chicken. But yeah. I didn't know if I would have enough yarn to to um um what is going on? you cast onion stitches and you um the word is gone hang on it's over here on my book find off oh my god my brain today so I wasn't sure if I would have enough. Thank God I had, but but yeah. So now I'm just trying to get a bunch of these dish cloths done for that sale in April, so that I actually have something to sell. I mean, I I need right down bind off. Glad to have you. You know what I mean. But yeah. Because I can't really have a, a garage sale, whatever, yacht sale, if I don't have anything to sell, right? I need to figure out. You graduated high school in 83. That's the year I turned four. But yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny, isn't it? How when you talk about stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah. The end you graduated in 81. I mean, I was barely out of my, well, I was. When did I? I think I was about a year and a half when I stopped wearing my diapers. <laughs> Francesca graduated in 87. <laughs> you weren't even born in, in 82 or 83, Anna? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you were born in 84, right? Yeah. <clears throat> That's kind of funny sometimes when people say, yeah, we were married in 77. And I was like, yeah, well, you were married before I was even born. I'm like, hi, <laughs> I'm not that old, okay? Well, no, I am. I'm 45 in a second. In just a second, I'll be 45. That's halfway to 90. Mindy's retreat, that's in, um, you talked about it before. That's the, the, um, yeah, we've been talking about it before. <clears throat> Alana, I have you all beat. I graduated high school 50 years ago. See, I wasn't even born back then. My mom had her confirmation in, in, when was that? 70... 72, 73, so yeah, <laughs> Don will be 60 in September, oh, you're going to Utah, Leanne, ooh, yeah, I want to meet all of you. One day we're going to have a, a, um, <laughs> a Francesca had for some reason figured Alana, um, yeah, Alana for younger and so had Leanne. Yeah, 
Well, no, I knew that. We've talked about it before. I just keep forgetting it, you know. You're all just my age in my mind. <laughs> well, you might be meeting the usual lurker. You never know. You never know. Have you asked Mindy if she's coming? <laughs> I ran away ahead of you, Dawn. I'm 60, 67. Yeah, mine. Um, hold on. My mom is, is, she's 68. She's 68 by now. That's my mom. Yeah. So you must be from 57, Alana? Am I right? 57? Yeah. But then again, you are from 56. So it's just not your birthday yet. Because my mom turned turned 68 in in March. In the beginning of March. So yeah. But age is just a number, you guys. And like I said, you're all just my age in here. So that's fine. Angie, your mom is 74. My dad is 72. Yeah, she had you young. Yeah. My mom was 23 when I was born. We were talking, I think it was before you entered, Angie, about, you know, I... I kind of joke about how I'm really looking like a grandma today, you know, glasses, my my sweater and my knitting, and I'm a grandma today, and they were like, I'm a young grandma, but then we talked about, you know, how people is getting grandmas younger and younger, that my classmate had her, I think it's the youngest of her boys, the same month that she had her first grandchild. It's crazy, right? I think it's her only grandchild so far. Can't remember. Yeah. Unbelievable. How how young was your mama, Angie? My dad was 27 when I was born. But he had my sister. So that was... 20. He was 22 when he became a dad the first time. Yeah, I don't know if she's in here, my sister, if she's on her way home. Exactly. Age is just a number. I mean, who cares? I'm like, my mind is like, mm, I don't know. Usually I say, like, I, I feel like a 16-year-old, but, you know, eventually it, it has to be, like, 18 or something. I don't know. Then my body is in its 90s, so I think it's it's okay. I mean, I'm somewhere in between. Yeah, it's, it's the number. Who cares? Who cares? As long as you have fun and you enjoy life and, yeah, doesn't just, you know, sit and waste. I think that's the best word for it. You know, sit and feel like you feel sorry for yourself or something like that. I don't think that'll ever happen to me. I know some people do, and it, quite frankly, drives me bonkers when people just, I mean, yeah, you can for a while, but eventually you have to start living again. But if people, after I don't know how many years of whatever, still feel sorry for themselves and want other people to feel sorry for them, I kind of lose my, my patience. 
And it isn't nice, I know that. But I think I've told you several times, I'm not a nice person. <laughs> not always, anyway. Oh, that reminds me. I saw this funny T-shirt yesterday. It's a T-shirt where it says, if you think I'm short, you should see my timber. <laughs> it's like, huh, I need that one. <laughs> so, yeah. I found it kind of funny. Like, right, John? I found it funny. I'm like, because for some reason it is true, and then again it isn't true. I mean, I'm pretty good at getting my temper in check by now, but then other times I explode in like a second, and that's not good. I try not to. I try not to. For some reason, people, <laughs> yeah, right, Francesca. It's kind of like I'm not short. I'm I'm penguin sized or minion sized. I don't know what's cutest, a minion or a penguin. I mean, penguin walk weird. I mean, I I like that little walk they have. Angie, did you get your mega tray port? Don, you would rather be a penguin? Yeah, that cute. both of them are cute. And the little penguins in their suits, they're so adorable. I love penguins. Um, when when I was in, in Berlin back then, and my, my au pair daughter loved going to the zoo because she loved elephants. So, of course, we, I think... For the longest time, we went to the zoo once a week because it was, uh, I think, around $3, three dollars, and she came in for free with me, you know. So about $3 a week to go look at the elephants. Um, and then we've when we've been staring at the elephants for like 45 minutes, I would take us to, to take a look at the penguins because I loved them. Penguins are the most adorable. And I saw this um, picture on Facebook, I think, where you see these two penguins. One of them, you can you can really see that this penguin is old because she's graying and stuff, and she's a little hunched. And then next to her, you see this, you know, stout penguin. He's, he's still beautiful and tall and whatnot. And then the story goes that these two penguins, every evening, they will meet at that spot and take a look at, I think it's Sydney or whatever. And they had both lost their partners, you know, penguins make for life. So that young male had lost his partner for some reason, and the older one had lost her partner. So they met every evening to take a look. And then they were just, you know, keeping each other company. I was like, aw. Okay, Angie. <laughs> it's okay. So I was like, yeah, well. So they 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 kept each other company. That's kind of cute. Kind of like a grandson and a grandma, you know. Young penguin and an old penguin. I mean, if we had dinosaurs in our zoos, I'm pretty sure that's what Rosa would want to look at. She loves dinosaurs. And cats. And dogs. What was it? Oh, yeah, we were, sometimes we talk about animals when, when we drive from her kindergarten to us or the other way around. And it's like how how animals say. And she has the, you know, still a dog is meow and a dog is woof and, you know, stuff like that. And when you get older, you learn to, to more make them sound real. You know, her of a, a chicken is like cluck, 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 cluck. And, and, hey, Chantel, how are you, sweetie? And then... Yeah, who isn't fascinated by dinosaurs, Francesca? Her stem from Peppa Pig. 
because of that little green dinosaur, but she loves dinosaurs. We we kind of joke that it's because when when um when her mom was pregnant, there was this dinosaur um exhibition down in a local um kind of a mall next to the the hospital where she had her scan and um we went to look at it. So it's kind of like, well, she loves dinosaurs because we were looking at dinosaurs, you know? <laughs> Happy to see you too, Chantel. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the joke. And they have been down to that mall since because apparently this exhibition comes in about once every year or second, too. About every year or every second year. <sighs> Cold coffee. Blah. Um, so yeah. But she loves dinosaurs. I'm thinking about because I saw uh, we were out getting groceries the other day. They um, you can't speak again. That's not anything new, right? English is hard, you people. <laughs> no, it isn't. So I saw this. It's called The Big Book About Dinosaurs. So, yeah. Francesca, you're going to guess Chantel or Anthony are the young ones of this group. I don't know. I mean, Anna is kind of young, too. Chantel, you're eight... 38. How old are you, Anthony, if you're still in here? Yeah, you're in your 30s as well. But yeah, Anna, you're in the beginning of your 40s. I think Anthony is still... Yeah, you're 42, Michelle. I think Anthony is in his 30s as well. If we have had Paige in here, she would have been the youngest. My dear. Anthony, reveal your age. If I guessed it correctly, you're somewhere in, in the end of your 30s, I think. Which is why when he... I think she's doing fine, Don. I haven't been talking her to her since she was in here last. But I think she's fine. I mean, I have to write her. I have to write and hear how's the babies doing and everything. <clears throat> her maternity leave. How does her oldest daughter like being a big sis? See, that's what I want to know. I saw this reel of a 14-year-old, um, or was it a 13-year-old, meeting their youngest sibling for the first time. And then when you read all the comments, like, yeah, well, this is now. She'll soon be more interested in friends and boys and drinking. And I was like, you do know that this is America, right? I mean, I don't think 13, 14-year-olds drink like, at that age, I mean, we do over here. Yeah, well, young people in Europe, young people in the U.S. does. Um, the legal for alcohol is 18. You can get beer at 16. Buy it, I think. I think. But yeah. It's a little more liberal over here. But then again, I'm kind of like, so you can't have alcohol until you're 21, but you can drive a car at 16. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Over here, you have to be, well, they have 
changed the rules. So now if you can have your parent or a another person by your side that has had their driver's license for at least 10 years, they can have the driver's license at 17, but it's a probation driver's license. And they have to, you know, until they're 18, they have to have that person sitting next to them. But other than that, you can't have your driver's license until you're 18. And in my mind, and this is my, okay, my opinion is you should actually be a little older because young people can't, um, darn it, what's the name of it? They can't see the consequences of what they're doing until they're 25. The brain can't, can't, you know, they can't foresee it. So we're still, <laughs> right, Don, that is so weird. You can get drafted at 18, but you can't drink until you're 21. It's like, yeah. Uh, how old I am, Chantel? I'm 44. Leanne, you got your license when you were 15. See, can you? It's weird. I mean, you can't. You, you, you make, no matter what it is, you make stupid mistakes because you can't figure out what the consequences are. But let, let's put you all in a car and then we yell at you if you're drinking or whatever in driving, you know. Yeah. I still think 18 is too young. Francesca, you got a permit at 15 and then the license at 16. See? It's, yeah. But it is my opinion. And my opinion doesn't count. <laughs> it's just me. Yeah. I have a lot of of different opinions and, you know, questions and stuff like that. But I figured out you can't, some of the things I want to discuss, no, not discuss, I want to debate them is kind of like, we don't want to talk about that. And I go, well, why not? Because I want to know. <laughs> kind of like, you know, it's, it's this consensus. You don't talk about politics or religion. And I'm over here like, why not? I'm curious. <laughs> I want to know. Chantal, did you see my finished painting of the pride lion? <gasps> Chantal, send it to me. We can see it. Send it to my, to my Instagram. Then we can look it up here. I can show it. That would be fun. I want to see it. Send a picture on my Instagram. Do you think people would be interested in seeing a time lapse of me kidding up? Francesca, I did. You was the first finished by other than me. Yay! So how many Diamond paintings, do you still have to see finished, Francesca? I mean, of the ones you have in, in, in your shop, I mean, you do have quite a bit of different ones. So how many haven't you seen finished yet? Right. Yeah, Anthony just unboxed that one too. It's beautiful. I still have to give him a comment on that one. Yeah. I am sometimes a klutz on that one. Okay, a second ago, we were almost 20 in here, and now we're eight. What happened? I'm boring. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> Did people lose their internet connection or something? <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> We're back up to, I think something happened to the internet connection for some people. <laughs> yeah, that'll be interesting to see. There we go. 
Let's see. Let's see. Um, Instagram. Chantal. It's so pretty. Okay. Share. Santa? What? Look. It's pretty. What is Santa Chantal? Oh, you forgot about Pride, Leanne? It's Saint Santa? What's Saint Santa? Right? It's beautiful. Is it a round or a square? You haven't seen 10 of them finished. Well, hopefully. Oh, okay. It's beautiful. Oh, square. <laughs> okay. Chantel blinked it up quite a bit in the cheeks and forehead. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And back. Yeah, and Nina isn't here today. She's having a Easter dinner with her family. Her brother is in Denmark. So they're taking advantage of it and meeting. So that's good. We're having... Oh, there won't be a live next Sunday because I'm not home. Um, plus, I'm guessing most of you is having some sort of Easter... Uh, meet up with your families but we are at a family birthday we um david's cousin's son is turning 30 and i'm like that can't be <laughs> how how is he turning 30 he was just a 14 year old boy that we had for i don't know five days or something and had all the fun with that you can have with a 14 year old who isn't yours. It's one of your favorite paintings. That's cool, Chantel. It looks amazing. I love all the colors, which is why I can't wait to do the um, Threads of the Universe just because it has colors. Yeah, you have family dinner, don't you? I think most people have something. We have Easter dinner, uh, well, Easter lunch on Saturday at my brother's and Rosa's. And then Sunday we have that birthday. And then Monday, it's just resting day, I think. I mean, a weekend filled with company and whatnot. I wonder if I'm going to have Rosa that day, since it's a Monday. I guess not. Have to ask my brother. Mm, and the drills were great too, Chantel. Well, I have heard a lot of good about Francesca's drills. So that's good. Hang on, I'm counting over here. So yesterday I was, um, how many of you know uh, Leopard Leatherworks? They are having <clears throat> a YouTube as well and they're, sell, blah, 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 they're selling um, pens. So they have a Discord channel and some of us were chatting in there uh, yesterday after Angie's live, and I forgot where I was going. What was I going to talk about? Oh, right, counting. 
Um, <laughs> might have to buy another kit just to do it all over again. That is cool, Chantal. So I was casting on my, my stitches for this one while Lee and Auntie was chatting in the background and with me. So I was, you know, trying to count my stitches and they kind of figured out um, that I was counting. So they just started, you know, shouting out numbers in the background and they were like, well, it can't bother you because you're counting in Danish and we're saying something in English and I'm going, you do know that is not how it works, right? <laughs> Leanne, you love the pens, but I don't understand Discord. Discord is rather easy, actually. I mean, most of it is kind of like a chat, like in here. And then you can make channels where you can talk. It's kind of like... Um, Kind of like a live, but everybody can talk. If I was in any way tech, was I would do something like having a, a Discord connected to my live. That way, you could actually talk to me instead of writing. That would be kind of fun. Okay, Anna, take care. Have a great week. Hopefully, you'll be back next and No. Sunday after next Sunday, 14 days from now. Yeah, me too, Leanne, and I know which one to get. But hopefully one day the international shipping is going to work and I can get one. Oh, they click together, Chantel, but not too tight so that they pop. Leanne, I would love one of their pens one day. I would just need to figure out because they do it differently, you know, they you have to measure all sort of stuff. And um yeah. I was kinda like, can't you look at this pen and then give me something like this? That would be interesting. <clears throat> they had one of the times I was live, they had a person saying, I needed it in this with and the person was they were like that has to be a mistake and I was like you do know that that is kind of like enablers outpost thick with three C's because the person wanted it in two and a half inch I think 2.5 is that an Two and a half, eight, two and a half centimeters. I can't. Anyway, it it was a thick pen. They were like, "That has to be a mistake." And I was like, "I'm not sure it is." I mean, it sounds like the thick enablers outpost pen. But yeah, and I was helping them choosing the color for the pen that ended up being named Easter in a pen. Uh, no popping. It's easy to measure, Leanne. Okay. Francesca, I will say I don't think my square kits are the best for the sloppiest of placers. They end up having to roll them in because the square drill fill. This square drill fit is snuck. I would love that. I would absolutely love it. And I would probably prefer doing the checkerboard, just to hear that click, click, click. Yeah, I think that's what I would love. Francesca, you don't have one of the pens, but I do hear and see good things about them. Yeah, I don't have one either. One day. <laughs> Leanne, they line up perfectly. I'm not a slubby placer, though. See, I know that, Leanne. You're not. You're one of the perfect ones. Have you seen that there is a new vote in the VIP group? I was just looking them over quickly to see if there's anything that looks interesting. And uh, 
I think there's a few that I have to vote on because I'm kind of like, you know, every time you see people being represented in diamond paintings, most diamond paintings, they're all these little slim thingies, you know, you know, big boobs and no way. Well, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> and I'm like, how about somebody with, you know, bosom and a big butt and a little tummy, you know, that way we feel included. And they have some with big thighs and a big butt and stuff like that. And like, see, I have to feel included. I want those diamond paintings. So I think I have to vote for those. The ladies with the big butts. Let me have it again. I like big butts and I, I'm not afraid to admit it or something like that. Oh, my brother sent me a joke just before I went live. It was actually kind of funny. Uh, how was it? It's kind. It said that jujitsu is the gentle art of folding clothes with people still in them, aka involuntary yoga. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of funny. Involuntary yoga. I tried yoga once. It wasn't for me. It's way too slow for my body. I just ended up aching everywhere. Yeah, that's I found that funny. <laughs> it's like the gentle art of folding clothes with people still in it. Ooh. I've, I've been a bad housewife the past few, I don't know, weeks maybe. So I had a lot of clothes needing folding. So I've been folding clothes and folding clothes and folding clothes earlier today. And I hate folding clothes. Often I end up, you know, having folded David's clothes first. And then I have mine left and I'm just done with it. Then I was like, meh. I don't want to fold anymore right now. And I leave it for another day. And then I kind of forget it. And then there is new clothes being washed and needed folding. And here we are again. I fold David's and then leave my own. And eventually I'm like, okay, I have to do it now. And I'm like, Ugh, I hate folding clothes. But it's stupid. It doesn't take that long once you do it. So it's kind of stupid. But yeah. I figured out that blue and brown goes perfectly together while knitting this. So I think I told Andy this yesterday. I need to do some sort of knitting with brown and blue just because they go well together. I'm not even sure you'll be able to see it. Maybe I should take a picture and put it in. Then maybe it'd be better to see. Hang on. There you go. That way I can show you the colors once this is in my 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 um, Dropbox. It's working. It's working. Are you in yet? Okay. Well then, let's take a look and. There you go. <coughs> and share. Um, oh, there you go. I was like, what happened here?
outcome, you can't really see the entire thing. Do you see this one over, over here? That's the, why can't I? Of the yarn. And then, um, hang on. Why am I? Something's up. Okay, there you go. And let's try it again. Uh, there you go. There you had it. Look at this. Doesn't the brown and the blue look good together? I mean, look at this. I would love to make something with, with these colors together. I think they look good anyway. But yeah, it is pretty. It's kind of like browns and blues. But yeah. Interesting to see skein of yarn and you go, hmm, I wonder what they look like when you knit it up, you know, because you never know. <coughs> Sorry. What feature don't I have access to? My computer is weird. Wait, what did I just do? Oh! <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to film my knitting videos because, you know, I usually... I'm breaking up? Oh no! Is my internet stupid? No. I have a full internet. It doesn't even fluctuate. Am I still breaking up? Am I okay or... Can't you hear me anymore? Am I okay? Can you hear me again? The picture is fuzzy. Weird. You can hear me. Okay. That's weird because everything is fine on my end. I have a full internet and everything. It might have to be YouTube then. YouTube is bugging us just for the heck of it. Weird. Oh well. I mean, it's been a while since YouTube was bugging my lives anyway. So. Hopefully, people will come back in. <clears throat> it's weird. I mean, sometimes they just do that. And other times, it's, it's good now. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. I don't know what happened. Everything was fine on my end. So I'm not really sure. So I had, <laughs> yesterday, in Angie's live, we were talking about um, her trays and these little trashy thingies over here, these little trash ones. <laughs> and um, they were like, Angie has sent me a bigger one because 
I, I apparently I need a bigger trashy. Oh, yeah, right. There's a huge solar flare. We should be able to see um, Aurora Borealis, but I think it's too cloudy outside. So anyway, Andy said that she was sending me a bigger trash bowl because I needed it. And all of a sudden, everybody was like, yeah, me, I always have a lot of trash, and she's a piggy diamond painter. And I was like, you know what? Bullying isn't nice. <laughs> and I mean, of course, it's, it isn't easy when it's written, you know, because you can't hear me sitting over here laughing. Uh, but uh, because I was like, bullying isn't nice, you know, and I feel bullied. <laughs> yeah. It's like everybody was picking on me with my picky diamond painting. And I was like, you know what? I want my drills to sit flush. Even, you know, if I was doing a, a Francesca painting and they sit flush, then you can't have drills with little tabs on them. That's just no good. So I'm allowing myself to be a picky, picky diamond painter. Yeah, I kind of hope that we might have a little time with less clouds because then I can go up to our church and sit and look. We have a view directly north and it is dark up there. I you know you can walk through the church churchyard and then you can sit up on a bench. I mean you don't you should, you you can't be afraid of the dark and you do have to walk past all the dead people. Yeah, you're right, Francesca. I mean, as long as there aren't too many. And I mean, I did have in the astronomer, but again, most of us did from the first batch. You almost had and you almost had no trash in the Francesca one. <laughs> it's not the dead people you worry about, Francesca. Who do you worry about then? See, now I'm thinking about the sixth sense. I see dead people. <clears throat> Have you seen him, the little boy, as an adult? He still looks like himself. Oh, the live people, yeah, well. The most dangerous animals on this planet is the people. Homo sapiens. But yeah. Have you seen him, the child, as an adult? He's cute. He really does look like himself just as an adult. But yeah, that one was cute. <laughs> kind of like this whispering, I see dead people. What's wrong with seeing dead people? Nothing. Then there's, which movie is that from again? Um, it's some kind of movie where you're like, I can see my house from here. Some people, they're up in the air and then like, I can see my house from here. Yeah. I do that whenever we're driving over the bridge between uh, Jutland and Funen. Even though I can't exactly see my house, I can see in the vicinity of my house. But it's like, I can see my house from here. But I mean, if I drive like five, if I walk five minutes, I can see the bridge. So basically, I should be, yeah. Yeah, it's okay to be picky, Michelle. Yeah. So people are picking on me for being picky. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> I have brought, well, no, I don't. <laughs> I was going to say I have broad shoulders, but I don't. <laughs> nah. I'm teasing people for teasing me, and it's quite all right. It's okay. I'm just giving them, giving them back some of their own medicine. <sighs> but I never got an answer. Would you watch a um, a a? See, the word is gone again. 
Oh, you have to go lie down, Plan. Okay, feel better and a happy Easter. See you in 14 days or in somebody else's life. Feel better. Um, what's the name of it? Hang on. Uh... What happened? Energizing festive jazz. Uh, I can't remember. You know where you, yeah. People are saying bye to Don. You're back listening, Andy. Um. What's the word of it? I keep forgetting it. Where you're watching somebody work fast. I know it, but it's just out of my head. It's... Anyway, you know what I mean. Do you want to watch a video of me kidding up like that, or is it just stupid filming it? Because I'm like, should I just wait to kid up until Tuesday and then do it in my webbing chat? Or would you rather have a ribbon, ribbon chat with me diamond painting and then see? I never know what to do. And if you are watching this on replay, please give me your thoughts down below in the comment field. If you would want to see one of the other. Um, because I would like to know. See, I'm very indecisive, apparently. Kid up in chat and a whip in chat. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Francesca. That was our I was thinking about that. Music in the background and then just a, a, a regular um whip and chat on Tuesday. That's kind of my idea, you know. Just kidding it up, me listening to an audiobook while I'm doing it, maybe, you know, using two seconds in the beginning of the video saying, hey, we're kidding up, blah, 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 showing a picture. It's this many colors with this many special drills, and I'm going to put some music on, and then when I'm done saying, hey, we're done, see you in in my webbing chat tomorrow or something like that, you know? Because if I do both, I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> well, I can find something to talk about, but will it be interesting? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea whether or not people would want to listen to, I don't know, ramblings about nothing or anything. <clears throat> Oh, I got the the times for my royal run, which will be royal walk for me. And when I'm gonna start my my part of the day, I'm kind of like mm, because it isn't until two, and I had hoped it would be earlier so that David could be there and um, film me enter the the the. Uh, goal in getting my medal but he has to go to work at four and he also has to make his lunch and stuff like that so it's gonna be a little yeah I don't think that is going to happen so I'm a little bummed because it would have been fun to have that video to show you all of me getting my medal and yeah we have to see. Maybe somebody else will be there and will be able to film it. Me finishing, me crossing the finish line. It would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? At least I think so. I mean. Uh, 
It's beautiful and sunny. You're taking Heidi to the park. Oh, by the way, Auntie, how was your hamburgers last night? Um, well, it's been it's been weird weather here. It's been overcast, and then it's been dry, and then it's been raining, and kind of like, you know, the weather can't really figure out if it wants to be dry or raining because it's just one or the other all the time. And I had hoped for less cloud so I can go up to the church to watch some Aurora Borealis. I had hoped because, yeah, like you said before, there is this huge solar flare. I have a uh, Aurora Borealis app on my phone and it's been pinging me all day like, this is when you should go and you have a big chance of watching the Aurora Borealis tonight. And I'm like, I know, but what does that help if I can't see anything for the clouds? I mean, like, move away. I need something big to blow at the skies and then blow them away so that I have clear skies ahead. I have seen, you know, when you're looking at the horizon one evening, we were somewhere really dark and I could just see the slightest hint of green in the horizon, which was like, yeah, that's all nice and good, but I want to see the colors, the reds and the greens and all the things. I want to see that, not just a tiny hint of green. I mean, yeah, but you never know, you never know. One day, eventually, but not when it's this overcast, sadly, it would have been a great night to do it. But, yeah. Have you seen Aurora Borealis? I mean, I think it would depend where, how far up north you're living. Yeah, I hope I get to see it. I mean, usually we can't see it all the way down here. Um, <clears throat> but depending <coughs> on how big the solar flare is, Sometimes we can. When was that? That was in November. Yeah, the end of November. Um, there was this big solar flare as well. And we had been down south, close to the border for a family birthday and was sitting on the train on the way home. David was at his Christmas party with his company, with his, with his company, with his work. And... Um, on the way home, I read, you know, that there was this huge uh, aurora borealis over Denmark that you can see. And I just saw so many pictures from my town and people were like, look at this. This is so big and so close. And I'm like, and of course I'm not home. <laughs> like, that is typical. Darn it. So hopefully. I mean... I think I would just forget taking pictures because I would just stare at it and all the colors and stuff. But one day it would be so neat to go to the northern of Norway or Sweden or Finland for that matter to just see the Aurora Borealis. I mean, when you see pictures from there, it's amazing. Just to see this wavy light move, you know. It's, yeah, I want to see that one day. Nope, it's his computer. It's like, who's he talking to? <laughs> I thought he was talking to somebody, but he's not. He was, um, <clears throat> earlier he was watching this video and I was like, oh, is that a game? He was like, yeah. And then the video ended, I was like, oh, I thought it was a game you were playing. It's like, no, no, it's a YouTube video. <laughs> well, it, it isn't any different than us watching videos of people diamond painting, isn't it? Is it? Here's watching videos of people playing games, and we are watching diamond painting. I don't know. 
it might not be that much of a difference. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is weird. I could hear it almost cracking. Okay, Angie, say hello to Mr. Sparkles. Tell him that I will teach him how to be a mod and give Heidi a cuddle for me. Enjoy the sun. And uh, yeah, let's chat soon. <clears throat> It's really nice sometimes just Angie and I uh, are chatting on Messenger. You know, you can do the video chat on Messenger. on Messenger, And, you know, if you ever want to do that, any of you say, if you're working or just diamond painting, let me know. Then we can chat while diamond painting or something. It's really nice just ch chatting while, while you're doing something. Having the company. I like it anyway. <clears throat> what was it yesterday? Um, oh yeah, that was again. Then when when I was counting and they were counting in in other numbers than me, they were like, "Well, it can't bother you because we're saying it in English, and you're probably just thinking the numbers in your head in in Danish." So like, you do know that when I'm talking English with you guys, I think in English. I mean, my mind doesn't go translate this to this while I'm talking because then I wouldn't be able to say anything at all. So when I speak Danish, I think in Danish, but when I speak English, I think in English because, yeah, that's how my mind works anyway. I don't know if it's what everybody else does. So then, even though I did count out in, in Danish, I was still listening to them and I was still talking to them. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just my brain that works like that. I don't know. I have to ask somebody else who has several languages going on if they only think in one language. Right, Francesca, that's when you're truly fluent, was when you think and dream. Yeah. When I lived in Germany, that's when I knew, back then I was like, that's when I knew I'd been there too long. Because when I dreamt about people I, I know, knew in Denmark, they were speaking German to me. And I was like, okay, that's it. I've been here too long by now. <laughs> if even my dreams are, are in German, I was like, okay, I need to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, and I have the weirdest dreams, the weirdest dreams. I mean, the other night I dreamt I was a, a priest, but I didn't really know <laughs> what I was doing. I was supposed to baptize some children, but I didn't know, you know, all the the things that you ask, the the godparents or what and I was like <laughs> it was so funny when I woke up and I was kind of like I wonder well no that that, that is weird <laughs> don't you ever wake up and, and had a dream and you go hmm I wonder what that was what what that was about yeah you think in Italian when you're in Italy. Alana, my girlfriend, is a Spanish translator. She thinks in the language she's speaking. Yeah. Hey, Bev, welcome. How are you doing, sweetie? You just caught my live. I like kid up and chat and wooden chats. Looking forward to seeing threats of the universe. Yay, me too, Bev. So, yeah, I'm... Um, I might start kidding up tonight and then do a women chat on Tuesday. That way I can diamond paint tomorrow when I've sent Rosa home. I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah, it's been a while since you caught one of my my lives, hasn't it? <coughs> Yeah, 
You have to go in short. Yeah, well, you know what? We've been here almost two hours, so that's kind of the usual, isn't it? Unless people want me to stay, I can stay a little longer. I mean, I'm not really doing much else. I don't know. Are you doing anything else? Well, let me know. I can stay on longer. <coughs> Darn throat. That's weird. I haven't. Maybe I'm talking too much and my throat is like. I was like, haven't. Have I been speaking too much lately or haven't I spoken enough since my voice is like. Ugh. I don't know. <sighs> <sighs> <clears throat> what are you doing today, Francesca? Are you going out for, for lunch? I was just about asking out for dinner, but that's just me over here. You haven't gotten that far yet. I think most of you had had the lunch, I think. Can't wait, because next week we're back to normal time-wise. It's so confusing when we change in different times. I'm like, what time is it? And I do confuse myself. We were talking yesterday, David, and I was like, yeah, so they, they're they closer time-wise to us. And I was like, no, they're, no, wait, yes, they're closer. <sighs> I always end up confusing myself. So they better just get rid of it. Uh, Francesca, well, it's almost dinner time here. Hobby and I are trying to do more in the weekends. We have to go food shopping and run some errands. Well, then, I have to go buy food for the two black ones tomorrow because they're almost out. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pity party if they don't have any more food. Bev, take care, Francesca. I haven't gotten to work on your kit yet. Trying to finish your whips. That's a good idea. Have a whip party and then you can begin on the next one. But yeah, Francesca, say hi to your husband. And uh, I hope you get something interesting to eat for dinner. Uh, we had hot dogs. Easy. On a Sunday. Yesterday we had rye bread with cold meat on it. But yeah, that was easy as well because David hadn't been home the entire day. So it was like, yeah, well. And I had to to go to Andy's live to, to Mott because, yeah. I, I was, I think, almost the only Mott in there that did all the, the linking. I mean, Dawn is a Mott, but she wasn't feeling good. And um, Elisa was a mod, but I think she was on her TV. And then it isn't easy to put in all the links unless you have a laptop or something sitting next to you. Yeah. Happy Easter, Francesca. And see you in 14 days. It's so weird not, seeing, see, not saying see you in a week. But yeah. No lie next week. But I think that's normal, isn't it? I mean, people are celebrating Easter if they celebrate. So, yeah. I think this is... This is the first Easter in I don't know how many years that David isn't working. Either day. I think most of the years he's been working on Easter Monday. Maybe even Easter Friday, long. What is, you call them long Friday, right? That's what we call it over here, directly translated. And today is 
Palm Sunday is what we call it. Good Friday. Right. I was close. Why good? I mean, it's the day he died and hung on the crucifix for a very, very long time. So why is it good? Well, that day. Why is it good? I have to look that up. Then the name, our name makes more sense because it was it was a long day. Poor Jesus. Hmm. I saw a picture the other day, kind of like, Easter is coming, help, you know, pray for me so that I don't, something like that. Something with Jesus and praying and after, uh, begging for forgiveness and then it was like like usual it was a a white jesus with like my color hair and people were like so why does jesus has to be depicted as a white guy because he wasn't he was middle eastern so you would have to have like at least olive skin and he would have black hair so I was like, hmm, but you know what? People don't want to think about that. They want a white Jesus because that's, that looks good. I mean, of course it's logic that Jesus who comes from the Middle East and is looking Western, European, you know, it makes a lot of sense. I remember being not very old and, you know, having, I don't know, religion in school. Or somebody was talking, to, you know, telling me about religion. <clears throat> and then I was in church or something. And I did ask the priest because I was looking up at the depiction, you know, the pictures and stuff. And I had just heard you know, where he came from. And I was looking at that Jesus and I was like, but if he's from Jerusalem, then why doesn't he look like that guy? And um, the priest didn't like my, my questions. And I didn't get it back then. I was like, well, aren't you supposed to let these little children come to me? I mean, no, I don't care. Okay, so as long as you don't eh, ask all these questions so that you have to explain yourself, it's fine. But if you're asking too many questions, it isn't. See, I was a curious child even back then. I needed all the answers. But this was in the 80s. So even back then, you didn't talk about it. I wonder who decided that he should be white. See, now I have to go to Google again. All the questions, all the questions. I wonder if that was yarn fluff or cat hair. Probably on fluff. I need to vacuum in here to get rid of all the yarn dust and the cat hair because they're flying in through the door. But yeah. That's not good. That's not good. So, did any of you get something yesterday? Did you buy anything from Diamond Art Club, Rima Designs, Francesca, other companies? I didn't get anything. I think I put one on my wish list, I think. I can't remember. I was busy, busy. 
Oh, you got the Dex Hound. That one was cute, Leanne. That one was cute. I love all of Peggy's diamond paintings. I guess she has one on the new uh, boat. A bunch of, of trees that has to go on my on my wish list. Well, I have to vote on it. That's what I was thinking. Just because I love the, all those Peggy Wood pictures. I mean, all the animals and all the doggies are cute as well. I have Sam the cat on my wish list. But then we have it again, all that black background. And I'm still not a big fan of all that color blocking. But, you know, maybe one day I'll learn. I mean, I do have some of Becca Tyndall's diamond paintings. Oh, that's the one, the Eau Claire studio. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Eau Claire is obvious um, AI, which, I mean, it isn't a secret. And as long as, as you know, they they tell it, then who cares if it's AI? If you like the content, if you like the picture, get it. And they are transparent about it. The Pink Treehouse is a Eau Claire studio as well. But, I mean, I looked at the picture and I went, ooh, I want that one. So, I don't really look at, is this AI or is it not? I look at the picture and go, do I like it? Yes, okay. And if I'm on a low low buy, then it goes on my wish list. And if it's something that I have, have to have, then I buy it. For instance, if that picture from Scott Howden is released, that one would be a, a must-have right away. That new one where where he's knit the girl is knitting. I have to grab it and then send it to Diamond Art Club and say, we need this one. We need it, we need it, we need it. I have to have that one as a, a diamond painting. Then they can hang next to each other. See? Then I could have them over here on my wall. See, that'll be fun. Hanging there. My knitting girls. That way I have my two hobbies combined. Knitting and diamond painting. See? That's not bad. Then I could find something with a bike on it. A racing bike or something. And then make that... For David, he can have that one in his room. I don't think he'll be interested in it, but okay. It's okay. Right, she did the Dax Hound a while back, didn't she, Peggy? I think she did. Oh, my nose is itching. Doesn't that usually mean that you're getting nosy guests? Because I don't want nosy guests. I have a friend coming over on Tuesday. I wonder... Oh, sorry. It depends on how long she's staying. If I can make my webin chat on Tuesday or if I have to wait for Wednesday. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. They haven't released any, Leanne? Oh, well. And you have to go feed the doggos? Okay, well, uh, since it's basically just you and I talking, then maybe I should head out as well. Mostly, I think people are working and looking in the background. So, yeah, I think I will end it here then. Say thank you for all of you being here. And um, if you people that is working and looking would give me a 
a uh, emoji, I'd be happy. Otherwise, have a great week. Thank you for being here. And hopefully I will see you in 14 days when we're live again. So yeah. Bye, everybody. Take care. I love you all. Bye. Bye.